separated and protected cycle paths are one reason for more people cycling. But cyclists in the Netherlands can usually take a more direct route than motorized traffic. And it has been that way in new urban development areas since the 1980s. Houten is such a modern town. A cyclist going from A to B can ride in an almost straight line. This distance would be 2.3 kilometers, taking about 9 minutes. A private motorized vehicle would be forced to go around residential areas and has to take a much longer route, 4.3 kilometers, taking about 10 minutes. But Houten was designed that way. Utrecht was founded by the Romans and its street plan developed in the Middle Ages. How would it be in cities like that? The cyclist can still take a very direct route. 1.8 kilometers, taking about 8 minutes. A motorized vehicle going between the same points would have to drive a much longer route. 4.4 kilometers, taking about 9 minutes. So even in old cities, the cyclist has the advantage. How was this achieved? The Dutch changed their cities considerably in the last 20 years. Where now only cyclists and public transportation is allowed, the street used to be a four-lane main artery. Nowadays, no private vehicle may drive here anymore. In addition, one-way streets for motorized traffic make through traffic also more difficult. This does not apply to cyclists. Cul-de-sacs create neighborhoods that have only very limited access. The barriers for motorized traffic were deliberately placed to create such limited access areas. Cyclists can always pass these barriers. Counterflow lanes for cyclists only create an even bigger imbalance between the two modes of traffic in favor of the cyclists. For them, cities are far more accessible. Once you start looking for them, the divisions are everywhere. No through streets for motorized traffic can be main routes for cyclists. A main through route for cyclists, but a one-way street for motorized traffic. Sometimes, residents have the key to unlock the posts that keep unwanted cars out. Separation of modes, even without separate cycle paths. One more reason for so much cycling in the Netherlands.